So before I start today's video, let me just tell you, it ends with a happy ending, thank God. But um, if you guys haven't seen the last couple of videos, I put in a new wine intake and a new Holly Street Avenger carburetor. And when I started it up, uh, it leaked coolant all into my engine, which was pretty sad. I had some milky oil, but you know what? We took it all apart and I had to make a decision. I was like, we don't know exactly why the intake leaked, it could have been bad gaskets. I've also seen on some forms that some people machine their intakes to match their heads. And of course my engine has been modified. It's not stock at all. The previous owner did a bunch of stuff to it. And so that's also a mystery. So I was like, well, the old intake didn't leak. So let's just put it on. And if it's still leaking, then we know it's another issue. So the old intake was pretty beaten up. The paint had been flaking off and I wanted to spice it up and just brighten up the whole engine bay. So I decided to look through my dad's paint cabinet and I found this gold color and I was like you know what let's just do this this will be cool and when I painted it it came out really sick I'm honestly so happy with it so after I installed the intake Holly reached out to me and they asked me if I'd be interested in getting rid of all my red MSD equipment and switching it to the black version and I said yeah that would be awesome because I had never really been a fan of all the red stuff so the first thing I did was install the new black coil which came out really cool They also sent out a new rotor with the distributor cap, which I was actually super happy about. The old distributor cap was completely worn out, just like the rotor. And I guess you're always supposed to replace those two parts at the same time, which makes sense. They also sent out some plug wire separators and numbered shrink sleeves. So at the end of the day, I was actually super stoked. I was like, okay, we're gonna totally freshen up this engine bay and make it look nice. So I started taking off all the old stuff and putting in the new stuff. And it was actually very easy. Nothing was hard at all. Another thing that irritated me about my car was that my plug wires were super long and just excessive. So this time I was like, you know what, we're gonna make these new plug wires the exact length I want and make it look awesome. So basically I took one plug wire off at a time and laid it out next to the new plug wire. I almost took off an extra inch on the new plug wires. Holly also sent me out this special crimper tool for the plug wires and oh my God, this thing worked so good. It was like awesome. It made this job so easy. It would have taken me hours to do it without that tool, but that thing saved me so much time. So once I finished switching over the passenger side plug wires, I was like, this is so cool. Like we gotta get rid of these red wires. So I continued to work on my car. I also really enjoyed using the MSD plug wire clips. It really helped keep them all neat and tidy and they don't stand out there. They kind of like blend in. These look a lot more professional and cool. So then I heated up the numbered shrink sleeves and they came out pretty cool. I like how they don't really stand out that much and they kind of just blend in also with the plug wires. So after I switched everything over to black, honestly, this engine bay looks so cool. I'm so happy. I feel like the gold gives a old school feel to it as well. So I'm really happy about that. So then I reached out to my grandpa Jim once again. He's the engine wizard and I had him come over and help dial in the new carburetor on the car, you know, set the idle mixture screws and just checked over everything, made sure the timing was correct. And the thing fired up within like 30 minutes. We had the thing dialed in, it was so easy. And then I looked under the car, I checked the dipstick, there was no coolant in my engine, nothing was leaking, so I was so happy. So then it was time to take the car out. And let me just say, this car has not been out for like two months. It desperately needs to hit the road. Finally out in the lot. driving really really good it's super smooth and responsive nothing like the old carb and what I noticed is it's a lot leaner like the old carb was shooting out black smoke and stuff and this thing's dialed in and it honestly didn't take that much work to get it to where it is right now I'm sure there's a little adjustment that we could do to make better but like my grandpa got it in 
pretty freaking good and it's not even, he didn't even do, go crazy or anything. But it's just so weird how smooth everything is and there's no leaks so far, cross my fingers, but I'm really happy I have this new carb. So, and it's just nice to have this on the road. It's been so long. Almost had PTSD, but if you go up here, it's just the overflow tank. So it feels great to finally have the car back on the road. I'm so excited. Huge shout out to my dad and grandpa for helping me out. I couldn't have done it without them. Also huge shout out to Holly for helping support my build. Feels great. I'm really excited about the carburetor. Super smooth. It's faster, I think, which is a bonus. So I can't wait to start taking it places. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.